Yep. Hello? Yep. Okay, yeah, I did hit the mute. What is up, everybody? We are here to call the Cardinals versus the Diamondbacks. Uh, game's about to start. So, looking forward to that. We are in the desert today in Arizona. Again, of course. Just like yesterday. And uh, Baumgartner will be pitching for the Diamondbacks and Dakota Hudson for the Cardinals. Funny thing is, I got both of them in fantasy. So, first pitch to Dylan Carlson. High fly ball. That will be an out. You are welcome, Kiara Williams. How are you doing? First pitch to Tyler O'Neill. First pitch to Strike one. What's up, Mock? Ball. One one pitch. Left side on the ground. Alcantara makes it. And he'll ground out. And that's the second out. So the Cardinals have a chance to extend their lead in the central division to five games. Comes in extra innings at Wrigley. Defeated Milwaukee six five. Nice round of applause for Goldie. What's up, Anthony Dennis? First pitch flies ball. That was a quick half inning. So, uh, bottom of the first. Bottom the first coming up. Please hit the like and subscribe for whoever is watching. Twelve people. Dalton and Marshall. 
Dalton Varsho, Emmanuel Rivera, Jose Rojas, Christian Walker, Jake McCarthy, Carson Kelly, Alcantara, Thomas, and Perdomo. First pitch is a ball down low. Ball inside. What's up, Braves fan? Strike one. Thank you, Braves fan. Strike two, fouls it away. Ball. Three and two. Strike him out. Come on. Ground ball. It's foul, though. Ground ball should be an easy out. Yep, one out. Player of game guess. Edmund. <laughs> Yo, Lou, you tell good jokes. That was a good joke, Lou. Edmund, player of the game, get out of here. I would guess Nolan Arenado, somebody who's good. Rivera, first pitch to him, ball one. Two balls. Kisner. Nah, stop. Stop it. That's worse than the Tommy Edmund thing you said. Strike one. Two one. Walked. Wow. You don't like to see a one-out walk. Rojas coming up. First pitch to Rojas, strike one down the middle. 
first base in his ninth season with Arizona, their first base coach, Dave McKay, always keeping the clock on the pitchers, the times. He's now in his 39th major league season. 39. Dave was asking me about my workout plan earlier. He said, right. Well, Ball. Can we get a double? Double play. That's a ground ball, but it's a single. And Rivera's at third. High fly ball deep that will probably score a runner, so it'll be one nothing. One nothing, and they got a guy on second. Today the stream is going by very slow, Luke. Ball one. Kind of, kind of weird that we only have sixteen. Strike one. What's up, UNC Panther? People that are coming in, please hit the like. If you're new, subscribe. Files it away. They do, Lou. Just hoping he get out of this inning, Lou. Ball three. Pitch it outside. Stop pitching it outside, Hudson. What's up, Alex? Prime Sports. Come on, get him out. Get him out. Fouls it away. Are that Jack comes out of a tomorrow. He 
There we go. We're starting to get people coming in. Walks them. Wow. That's never good. Ball one. Come on, Carson Kelly should be an easy out. Carson Kelly gets a hit? Oh, damn. Newport didn't catch it. Damn, Newport almost had it, but it popped back out. Oof. Tough play, though. Newport should have caught that. And the pitching coach is already going to go talk to Hudson. Guys, hit the like, hit the subscribe. We got 28 people watching. Strike two. I at least want to get out of this inning only giving up two. Carson Kelly steals it. Strikes him out. Let's go. Okay, at least we get out of the inning. Giving up two runs. Very bad inning, but it could have been worse. Now Cardinals have to score. <laughs>
What's up, Aiden? What's up, Kev? First pitch to Arenado. Strike one. Arenado will ground out. One out. Pujols coming up. Yeah, 2 nothing. But it's early race, man. First pitch. Is that gone? Pujols hits it deep. At the wall is gone. A home run. Let's go. Albert Pujols crushes it. He still got it. He can still play. <laughs> wow. Pujols. That's why you love him to be in the game. 691. Five shy from Alex Rodriguez. Let's go. First pitch to Edmund. He will ground out. Damn it, Edmund. First home run was here. First pitch is a ball. Come on, Paul DeYoung. We need a home run. Tie it up. Strike one. Yeah, John Jensen. Ball. Paul DeYoung will ground out. Damn it. So we score one, 
and uh, by Pujols hitting a home run. Still a long game to go. He's decent, John. He's just not as good as he used to be. First pitch, strike one to Thomas. Hell yeah, Frosty. Ball one. That should be a ground ball, one out. Strike two. Just because I think he's a talented player, because he's one of the greatest I've ever seen, if not the best. But he's going to feed off the energy of being back in St. Louis. And in my time of doing these games, I can't think of a player. Strike three. Strikes him out. And there's a strikeout of a crowd and rising to the occasion like Albert has. And it makes me think, what if all those years were spent in St. Louis? Are we talking all 750, 800 right now? I mean, who knows? You just never know. Seeing this too, I mean, these two guys, the, the admiration between the two of them, the friendship there, the, the opportunity that was given. Sometimes something just has to go away and then come back, maybe to appreciate it again. The 
First pitch should be a ground out. Yep. There we go. Top of the third. Top of the third. Ball one to Kisner. Kisner falls it away. Strikes out Kisner. What's up, Ron? Strikeouts 
and it's really provided this lineup quietly a boost. There's some stability, really, in this lineup. A guy, we know if it's against a righty, he's leading off for you. Lefty's hit ninth. He's been solid defensively, 422 on base in August. That's a ball again. Right there, that he's been laying off of top of the zone. He's doing a really good job of not waving through that. Strike. Bad bomb at a five pitch first inning. The fewest pitches in the first inning in his career. Been greeted with a home run after he got Arenado in the second. Two on our score, three one pitch. Three and two. Three and two. It's a good cutter right there for Madison Bumgarner. He uses that pitch a lot, whether it's to while he is ahead or to get back into counts. Three two. Walked him. Off the plate and a walk. Well now walk for new bar. Well we have a moment. Let's hear from the great folks at Sightman Cancer Center. You are someone's favorite person, and your health matters for the lives you touch. Schedule your cancer screening today. I want to say thank you to the folks at Sightman. They do great job and for their support of Cardinal Baseball. So Newbar extends his career-high streak, walking in five straight. He's at first base. Here's Carlson. Strike one. And looks at a strike. Madison Baumgartner, 6'4", 260-pounder. He's a four-time All-Star, three-time World Series champ. Postseason, he has three shutouts and a 2 1 1 ERA in 16 postseason games. Is that good? It was even really good and better in 14. He was almost unhittable when he was the MVP of both League Championship Series and the World Series. He holds the all time record, lowest career World Series ERA, 0.25. He did that in 2014. And in that postseason run, 52 and two thirds innings. He was awesome. Not afraid to trot out of the bullpen and give you five either. No, short rest. Yeah, that was that was epic. So for all those reasons, though, like if you're, that's an incredible resume, and maybe even Hall of Fame resume. If you're looking at just that postseason, you can't let the name on the back of the jersey get you out though. This is not the same guy. The stuff isn't the same. The velocity's down. The breaking stuff isn't the same. Come on, Carlson. One one swung on it. One two. Carlson eight for his last twenty with a home run. Wide to center on the first pitch of the ball game to start game number two. Tomorrow Quintana against Merrill Kelly. Kelly's had a good season, ten and five with a two eight one ERA. And the one two pitch to Dillon. Strikes him out. Two strikeouts in the game, both coming here in this third. I'm not sure you can put this pitch in a better spot. Cutter back door just catches the corner. In a really good spot. Home plate umpire Jeff Nelson likes it. By the way, we've seen early in this game. It should be advantageous to Dakota Hudson. He's called the ball down. Stay down there. There's Tyler O'Neill. Strike one. It's called a strike on the inside corner. So the crew chief, as you mentioned, Jeff Nelson behind the plate, C.B. Buckner down at first, Alex Tussie at second, and Stu Sherwalder, Shoe Walker is down at third. Ball one. Played one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Game number 119 tonight, Cardinals 67 and 51. Well, it took 118 games, but we saw a little history yesterday. Well, not history, but a first. The first win that the Cardinals got in the first game of a road trip. About that? Tyler O'Neill gets a base hit. Base hit for O'Neill, cut off by Thomas. Newbar will be the third. And Newbar will stop we third. definitely need a base hit. Good job, Carlson. I mean, O'Neill. Why did I say Carlson? So you said O'Neill. Finally, Goldschmidt. Knocking the run. Let's tie this game. Let's tie this bad boy. It has been ridiculous the numbers that Goldie has put up, generally speaking, this year. Let me think about what he's done against the lefties. Man, oh man. 
438 the average. Seventh best single season mark in Cardinals history. 865 slug in general <laughs> average. It's, uh, it's video game stuff. It really is. First ball. pitch taken for a ball. Goldie flying to center. First time up. Look at this against Madison Bumgarner. 11 extra base hits. The 338 average. Four home runs. Strike one. A ball and a strike. Ball and a strike. Person Kelly steps out in front of the dish and maybe the defensive alignment here sending some signals. Goldie is still beloved here in Arizona. One of their great players. Either I hope Albert plays one more year St. Louis Rocks. Well, there's 30 home runs. Nine have been against lefties. One one. Strike two. Arenado on deck. Madison Bumgarner is doing a good job of staying on the corners. Breaking ball actually has a little bit more depth than we've seen here over his last couple of starts. See some of the Cardinals kind of in between with that breaking ball, that late break that he's had. The one two. Two two. Two and two. It's the hard part with Bob Gardner. He turns his body, then he cross fires. So stuff as a right hander, it ends up boring in on you. And then if he's hit the back door of that cutter, you're already looking in. You got no chance. And when he had his two balls, two ball, strikes, two outs. Two two. We'll do it. it away. That's the thing we've seen all year long with Goldie too is his ability just to spoil pitches. Just make you work, foul stuff off and you can't get to it, and then inevitably pitchers will make a mistake and it makes him pay. Goldschmidt gets a base hit. They'll tie the game. Two two. Let's go. This is a really good sequence by Madison Bumgarner as well. It's the hard cutter in. Goldie fouls that off, gives himself another chance. Then it's a fastball, and this is well off the plate away and just drives it through that wide open right side. He covers everything. Incredible. I mean, a lot of big time power hitters, they pull off that pitch. Well, I look, at, look how far that ball has to travel, too. You just got to be able to be patient and trust the hands. So Goldie now three RBI shy of his first 100 RBI season since 2017 with Arizona. Arenado coming up to bat. Game, two runners on. Ball one. And a pitch taken by Nolan Arenado for a ball. He grounded out to third first time up. 277 the average with runners in scoring position. Who holds on deck? Strike. One ball and one, one strike. One ball, one strike. We talked about it in the first inning with Dakota Hudson, the free passes. They always seem to find a way to come around and bite you. That was the case in this inning against Madison Bumgarner. With Lars Newborn that walked, ended up coming around to score on that single by Goldie. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, two strikes, swings and misses. Cardinals are 18 and 9 this year, facing lefties. Second in slugging percentage, first in on base, third in batting. In all baseball, when facing the Southpaws.
Ball. Two and two. Two and two. Another big crowd here in Arizona. They had their third largest crowd of the season last night. I'm sure, a lot of that is the man on deck. Also, number four. And the Cardinals in town. Cardinal fans travel so well. And the two Arnado two will fly out. So it's two two. Bottom of the third. We'll be right back. Well, good thing the scoreboard finally updated. <laughs> Two twos the score. Well, Albert just crushes the left handed pitchers. First pitch, strike one. Ball inside. Three and one. Fouls it away. Three two. EJ. I know EJ wants us to win because it's the Diamondbacks. You don't like the Diamondbacks, right? Inside, almost hit him. That's a walk. You don't want to see walks, especially leadoff walks. And with Rojas coming up. Joined us, Albert Pujols is Homer, number 691. Now 
for 6,137 total bases to pass Stan the man's second all-time in the Major League Baseball history. Goldschmidt has the other one. Strike one. There's a strike shift on the right side. Albert is due up first with the end to the fourth inning. We need a double play. One one. Calls that away. Strike two. Been a bad day though. Big stick, what's up? Ground ball. That should be an easy double play. Arnado fires it and he's out. Rojas wants it reviewed. Arizona will challenge. I think he was safe too. Oh, he's out. That's really close. It really is. The call on the field is an out at second and an out at first. Arizona is, is in both plays. Been in bed all day up I be here. After review, the out call at second is confirmed. The out call is overturned. The runner is safe. Runner safe. <laughs> okay, so it's one out and a guy on first. Oof. Over the head. Or did it hit him? 
Did it hit him? Hit by pitch by Hudson. It did not hit him. Challenge it, call. Ball. Hudson has been able to get 20 ground ball double plays, second in the National League. So three walks tonight. He's got nine issued in his last 11 innings. Two balls. Not sure he feels pressure, too, of what's going on, having just been skipped. He knows there's been issues against three already. It's very difficult to just go out there and pitch. You're always thinking through things and certainly when you've had the struggles that you've had with the man, it, it continues to creep in. And there's your ground ball, but a late... At least get the guy out at first. Two outs. Everybody makes the play. Sliding for it to his left. The runners advance to second and third. Carson Kelly coming up. Carson Kelly been owning Dakota Hudson all day. Fly ball. And that will score two runs. It'll be four to two. Wow. Hudson sucks. I can't defend him no more. Strike one. There's also a St. Louis connection to the coaching staff of the Diamondbacks. Joe Matter, who's in St. Louis. He's the hitting coach. Played with the Cardinals, Atlanta, and the Chicago Cubs. He's a manager for a while in the minor leagues. Fastball taken low. One ball and one strike. I mean, Martin, the game's not over, but not looking good. Yeah, watching Hudson sucks. But the movement that Hudson can create, 
time to just to have a guessing game for him about where this ball, where this pitch is going to go. That's why I, I really think that the focus should just be down middle. It's not going to end up there. Strikes him out. Why couldn't he do that before? Top of the fourth. What's up? Stay cool. How does a business reach peak performance? Faster communication, easier collaboration, better teamwork. That's why high performance organizations rely on high performance technology solutions. And who do they choose to help them? Marta, making communications and collaboration seamless so businesses can stay connected, engage customers and fans, and win at the highest level. The most important calls in baseball and in business are made with Mytel. Powering connections for thousands of peak performance organizations worldwide. Come on, Brian. Let's do it. Ted, look! Yeah, Carson Kelly's doing great. It's only the fourth inning, Martin. Come on. We could come back. First pitch to pull holes. Ball one. Ball two. Let's look at some of the tapes, especially against left handed pitchers. That's a good breaking ball down under the zone. Doesn't even flinch. Knows out of the hand it's not going to be a strike. The 2 0 pitch. Strike one. Race fan, come on, man. You only come in here when we're losing. 3-1. Is he going to walk through holes? <laughs> Foul. That was a base hit. Come on. <laughs> the hands are right. yeah, he's fine. Yeah. He's just fine. The slugging percentage here in August is 964. Five home runs and he's driven in 12. A home run back in the second inning and now 3 2 pitch from Madison Bumgarner. Who else falls it? Yeah, I don't think it helps you, Martin.
Popped up foul. Like, I get low expectations, Martin, but it's kind of frustrating. Wait, again? Is it gone? Could it be? It's a home run! Let's go, Martin. This game ain't over. Pujols, it's another one. And he, he is just on fire. Oh, my God. A multi-game home run from Albert Pujols. He still got it. 692. Eight away. From 700. Four away from tying Alex Rodriguez. Again, Pujols crushed it. Like, wow. He just owns Madison Bumgarner. First pitch to Edmund Ball. Even if we lose this game, Pujols has done amazing. That's a ball. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in sports. How can you not love baseball? Please use Palante. <laughs> I agree. Strike. True, Martin. I agree. Palante is the best middle reliever we have. Strike. Two. This game is far from over, Martin. Edmund fouls it away. It's only a one run game now. <sighs> yeah, I hope he could go at least six innings tomorrow, Martin. So it's a multi hit game for Hawk. Only 938 of those. He's one shy of, top, of being in the top 10 of the history of baseball in multi hit games. I mean, this is, this is vintage locked in Albert right now. Oh, we got a $2 donation from the Braves fan. Pujols go MVP, go cards. Yep. Let's go. Thank you for the $2 donation. Shout out to the Braves fan. Don't retire. 3 2. Edmund will ground out. One out. Come on, Edmund. The All States may have moments. Eighth pitch of the at bat and his second home run tonight. Is that the ball can keep to? Just seeing a fastball up in the zone. Same area, both home runs. Yeah, he hit it like in the same spot. Paul DeYoung, strike one. Yeah. 692. Pujols is amazing. Big Nish, have not seen you in a while. Where the hell have you been? Ball.
Come on, Paul DeYoung. Pass it away. Yeah, because the Reds are trash. No, I didn't see it. What did he say? I need to watch that. Come on, Paul DeYoung! Files it away. Paul DeYoung is due to go yard. Strikes out, Paul DeYoung. Damn it! It's like Pujols is the only one trying today. Yeah, usually the home run derby screws up your swing. It helps out Albert's swing. Andrew Kisner coming up to bat. Oh my god. Wait, Martin's talking about the bright side. What the hell? Kisner gets a base hit. What am I seeing? And he's going for a double Kisner. He'll easily get that. Wait. What? Kisner getting a hit? I need to adjust my TV set for a second, guys. Hold on. Something's wrong. <laughs> How'd that guy get a hit? Carl starting to distance the South Universe. Hell yeah! I'm gonna take the third seed, I know. Come on, new bar, bring him home. No, Kisner's worse than the young. New bar, come on, run, 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 Kisner. Kisner's going home. Can he beat the throw? Yes, Cardinals tie it. Suck it, Martin. Let's go. Four, four. Told you this game ain't over. New bar. Let's go. Four four tied back up. Would you rather play the Phillies, Padres, Brewers, or Giants in the? He got a single, but Kisner scored. It's tie game. What's up, Eagle? Let's all sing the mockery. No, that wasn't me, Thomas. I never doubt Pujols. What's up, Thomas? Yeager. Yeager. Come on, Carlson. Beardo, you're missing a great game. 
Shout out to Beardo, who's a member. Yeah, Pujols hit two home runs, Martin. First pitch, ball. Carlson follows it away. Where's Braves fan? That guy always leaves when it ties up. And it's the worst hitter, Kisner, that scored. With that. This game is not over, Martin. It's not going to be the Giants, Vignish. They don't have a chance. I kind of want the Padres so I could get my revenge from 2020. Ball. I don't know what you're talking about, Thomas. You must be drinking a lot of Jaegers. Why is that, Martin? Hey, Martin, sorry if I got mad at you, but I believe in this team. You got to believe a little more. You're a little... I, I love the pessimistic view, but you're a little too pessimistic. <laughs> That's a ball. And strike two. I don't know what Carlson was thinking there. That was definitely a strike. He was trying to walk. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Thomas. The Cardinals were up 3-1. Oh, yeah. I remember that more. And Carlson. Deep fly ball, but it's not in deep enough. He flies out, but it's okay. Cardinals tie it with the Pujols home run. Kisner double. And yeah. I mean, Martin is... Uh, there's something about being realistic and uh, and optimistic and it's pessimistic. Martin is the most pessimistic fan I have ever met. I'm pretty pessimistic too, but Martin is on another level. How many games do the Cardinals play in Arizona? Just one more. I love it like Biden playing stupid. There you go. Welcome to the stream, Thomas. Why don't you hit the subscribe and hit the like. Martin's my dude, though. Martin, you're an awesome supporter. I really appreciate you um, watching. Everybody, appreciate everybody watching. This team is finding ways to come back. Twenty-two. I mean, it would, yeah. <laughs> it would be against the Tiger. Strike one. No, don't give up a base hit right away. Thomas gets a base hit.
Dakota Hudson's so bad. I don't know what the hell happened to him. He was so much better than this before. Checks on the runner. He bunts. One out. But the guys get, he advances the runner to second. Smart bunt by a, uh, he used to be a good starter too, like a decent. Ball one. Strike two. No, one one, sorry. One one. Yeah, Pujols could hit 700 if he keeps going like that. I agree, Martin. We need to get Dakota out of the, out of this game. He's pitching terribly. That's a ball inside. Time is cold. The two one pitch. Don't show. That's foul. Yeah, Hudson's kill is just destroying us, King. Three, two, pitch to high. Files it away. How many walks does he have right now, Martin? Would you like it as a pitcher? You always work very quickly anyway. I don't know if I would or not. I mean, I guess you'd have to wear it, kind of, kind of see. For some of the guys, like, you don't feel anything. It's not like it really bothers you. He's at three walks. I don't know if that was smart. He might, he might get under three. I mean, he might get under five.
Swings and misses and strikes him out. One more out. Come on, Hudson. Let's get at least one decent inning. Struck him out, King Julian. Kisner's going to go talk to him. Braves fan, look, it's tied up again. Hopefully it stays that way. Nah, it's more Hudson sucking, Martin. So two outs and runner at second. And How is that not a strike? Not a Rivera. That was two balls. I mean, he's walked this guy twice. That's a ground ball. Hudson fields it. That's an out. Let's go. <laughs> Finally, an inning where he doesn't give up a run. <sighs> Top of the fifth coming up. Yeah, Hudson sucks. I agree. I, I, I just, I try to back him up. I can't do it no more. The only thing I can say is at least he didn't give up a run that inning. Oh my god. Would have been terrible. What's up, Tyler Yeldon? Guys, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I mean, we got 42 people watching. I appreciate everybody here. Thank you all so much. You guys make this channel. And we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like. I would really appreciate it. I will be starting the TJ McFarlane thing. He sucks, Martin. He got DFA'd. And I liked, I used to like TJ McFarlane. All right, Tyler O'Neill. First pitch to O'Neill. Ball. Hey, you're back, Dark and Lamp. Go cards, I agree. O'Neal will ground out. One out. I hope we don't see Jordan Hicks, Martin. Goldie coming up to bat. Are you sure about that, Khalil? Khalil, if you're new, please hit the subscribe. If anybody's new, hit the subscribe.
ball one to Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt will fly out to center, and that's two outs. That's amazing, Dark and Lamp, that he has two home runs. Albert is goaded. First pitch to Arnado ball. It's going to be ballpen versus ballpen pretty soon. Two balls, no strikes to Arenado. Two balls, one strike. Come on, Arenado! Ball, three balls, one strike. Is he going to walk him? Yeah, you don't want to walk him. Then Pujols comes up. It's another home run. Then it's 6-4. Let's go. Come on, Cardinals. Arenado will... Oh, my God. He lined it out to third. And we're going to the bottom of the fifth. A 1-2-3 inning for Madison Bumgarner. This is pretty much going to be ballpen versus ballpen pretty soon. We are the number one Cardinals live streaming. So if you appreciate that, please hit the like and subscribe. Nobody calls Cardinals games as much as I do. Next week, our special guest will be Rick Ankeel uh, when he was a pitcher. Oh, he's, he was so good in the beginning, then he lost his control, then he wasn't the same. Rick will be teaching us about dealing with frustration and anger. Yeah, I don't know if Rick could do that. I feel like he got angry a lot. Maybe now he's calmed down. But Tito Perez, my man, says, let's go Cardinals. Yep, let's go Cards. Hopefully, uh, we could get a 1-2-3 in the bottom of the fifth, which is coming up shortly. And that would be great. We have 44 people watching, guys. Hit the like, subscribe. Let your voice be heard. Type in the chat. We read chats here. We're a very interactive channel. Why can't we just resurrect Bob Gibson in 1968 to pitch for the cards now? Imagine. That would be amazing. All right. Game's back. First pitch to Rojas. Strike one.
felt that way, even at a young age, with Adam Wainwright, you're still picking his brain and vice versa. Oh, for sure. And Adam, Two, you know, a ball, that's a ball. That's another ball. That's a base hit. No. Rojas will get a single. Then a double. He's trying to... Oh, I thought he was trying to go to third. He got a double. Damn it. Take Hudson out. Why is he still in the game? Rojas is playing great today. Didn't do this that great yesterday, but much better today. Christian Walker coming up to bat. Who I'm always scared of because he's got power. Strike one, swings and misses. This is not Arthur Martin. Remove Hudson. I know, I wish King Julian. Two one. Walker will pop up to Tommy Edmond, so one out, and the runner stays at second. That was huge. Yeah, what the hell happened to Frankie Montas? What happened to Hayter? What happened to Rogers? They have all been terrible. They will take Hudson out the game. So, who's going to come in? This is our place. We'll go to commercial break, and we're going to see. I wonder who they're going to... Yeah, but it depends who they replace them with, Aiden.
Genesis Cabrera, okay. That's who they're going to go with. I don't like this. I don't like Hudson, but I don't like Cabrera. Cabrera is going to come into pitch. 357 ERA. He has given up eight home runs. Holy shit. McCarthy batting. First pitch strike one as he McCarthy's trying to bunt the runner over. Strike two. Come on, if we get a strikeout, I'll feel a lot better about this. Come on, we have 40 people watching, 36 likes. We need more likes, come on. Popped foul. One, two. Really good spot right there. Nice job by Kisner to keep it in front of him. Keep Rojas there at second. And the one two pitch by Cabrera. Deep fly ball. Carlson's underneath it, though. That should be an out. And he'll get to third safely. So two outs. But a guy's on third. He is not Ricky Vaughn. I wish he was, but he's not the wild thing. Carson Kelly, who's just been killing us today. Come on, this guy's usually an easy out.
It was funny when he had to put the glasses on, Martin, because he couldn't see, but he was really good then. <laughs> How's that not a strike? Two balls. Willie May Hayes? <laughs> Martin? First pitch, strike one. I mean, it's first. third pitch, strike one. That's what I meant to say is the first strike. Strike two. So three, two, full count. It's, he should be an out, Paul DeYoung. Yes. Good job, Cabrera. First. Now Pujols is going to come up. So we're out of the inning. Top of the sixth. John Mayer says Albert. Yeah, J Book. And he's here again. I really hope he passes A Rod. I want to get to 700 at least. First pitch, strike one. 
Files it away. Pujols. That's shocking to see him swinging at that first pitch fastball, elevated out of the zone or up in the zone. Out of town. What? So what? Everybody has cell phones. J book. There's no excuse. Wait. No. Oh, it's off the wall. I thought he hit another one. Damn it. That was almost another one. Pujols is three for three. I thought it was a home run, bro. Yeah, that's a long single. Two balls, no strikes. We need to score here. Damn, Pujols just owns Baumgartner. Albert stealing. Safe. We got thrown out. What the hell? Oh, my God. Why would he do that? Why would you steal, Albert? That was so close. Yeah, that was a great throw by Kelly. Strike one. No, strike two, three, two. Pujol should not have done that. Yeah, Pujol should not steal. What was that? Walked Edmund. See, he didn't need to steal because he would have been at second now. I'm just going to pretend that Edmund hit it to second, Pujols got out, and Edmund was safe at first. That's what I'm going to pretend happened. We just did not witness Pujols trying to steal there. It was ridiculous. Bumgarner has gone.
They thought they were Flash. <laughs> King Julian. No, Molina will be back. He's not injured. He's taking care of a family member. He'll be back on Monday. Paul DeYoung, come on, man. So one out and runner at first. Tommy Edmond, 24 steals. We spoke to Ali today. One of the questions I had for him, how tempted are you to continue to use Albert lefties or righties? He said, I get it. He said, we are at times. It has to be the perfect situation. But we try to set him up for the best success that he can have. Also, as the young hits it the young center, pops out to center, center field. Right now, at least he didn't strike out. Two outs. So to speak, facing some tough writings. Yeah. No, I, I, and I think that's a very smart way to do it. Your, your job, first and foremost, and, and Ali has been very yeah. good. This is a point where Edmund should steal. The young Yankees killer against everybody else, he sucks. What the hell is Cage? Oh, Palante throwing in the pen. J Book's favorite pitcher and Martin. Hey, Kisner got a base hit earlier, so. King Julian, don't make fun of him. Been good today. He got a, a run. Ball. Edmund sucks, Martin. Yes, Albert hit two home runs. Garrett McCutcheon. Yeah, he'll be back on Monday, they said. Guillermo. Just looking at this line so far here for Albert. Interesting game. Carlos Critic. Home run 691, 692. A single off the wall and a constant steal. Must have been <laughs> okay. at work. Yeah. Yeah, you were at work, King Julian. Ball. Come on, Kisner. Home run! <laughs> That'll be funny if he does that shit. 3 1 pitch to Kisner. Fouls that away. Strike two. Career, and this guy's 42 doing this. 
it's just they're blown away too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and you learn from it, don't you? You learn about the way that the guy prepares. What is he looking at in the video? What specifically? What helps him? How does he keep his swing right? How does he keep his body right? Like, there's so many things you can learn from him. The beauty of having a guy like Albert is he'll give you everything. He'll give you every bit of information. That's a ball, and he walks Kisner. Let's go. Last time Nuke got a big hit. Let's see if you can get another one. Ball one. Rob's doing a dish. What's up, Rob? After dark, whisper coming in. We just need a base hit, man. Now that will take the lead for us. Yeah, I'm watching the game on MLB TV. We just need a base hit. Come on, new part. He did it earlier. Oof, that should be. say all we need to come full circle in this deal is Nelly, but heck, we already had high fives of Nelly between the fence and home. He's going to have to start traveling. I think so. I'm sure he's on tour somewhere. Here's a 1 1 pitch. 1 1 pitch. New bar. Yes! Base hit! New bar is the GOAT! With two hits. Oh my god, they can't even get the ball. The guy, I think he's falling all over. That is New Bar gonna have an inside the park home run? Inside the park home run! Let's go! That is a 7 to 4 lead. It's no three runs, Rob. It's inside the park. It is. Wow! New is the GOAT! The last person I did that was Harrison Bader, who he traded. Holy shit, that just... The freaking... The outfielder couldn't get the ball. <laughs> Good thing that... Who's that outfielder? Varsho can't get the ball. <laughs> A new part's got speed, man. That's the thing. Hell yeah, Rob. Good luck, Chumper. <laughs> First pitch is a ball. Wow. They called it an error? I don't care. That's an inside the park home run, bro. That is stupid. That should be a home inside... How is that an error? Because he can't grab the ball? That's so dumb. I don't care. I'm calling it inside the park. Strike one. And he will do a bunt, and that is out. Carlson gets out, but the Cardinals take a 7-4 lead. Yeah, that is crazy. That was a great inning. It was 4-4, and the next thing you know, we score three runs. The scoreboard was probably just updating. It's a little bit behind King Julian. It just it couldn't believe that Newbar did that. That's why it went to six. They were like, nah, that's... Newbar is one of my favorite players, and 
He's just proving it right, right now. Hey, Rob, Pujols had two home runs today, too. Pujols is three for three. Six ninety two, yep. Only four away from Alex Rodriguez and eight away from seven hundred. <sighs> and Rob, we've been trailing this whole game, so it's nice to finally have a lead. And he almost had three home runs, Rob. The third hit was it hit the Top of the it hit the top of the wall, so he could add six ninety three. I want Pujols to play every day, man. He just does so good every time he plays. Oh yeah, baseball is definitely not boring, especially if you're a Cardinals fan and how we're just rolling through. I know we're playing easy teams, but still. We took the division from the Brewers, and if we win today, we'll have a five-game lead. That is pretty comfortable coming down from where we were at. Palante going to come into pitch. Oh, yeah, it's a great comeback. We were down 2 nothing, then we were down 4-2, to two, and now we have to lead 7-4. to four. First pitch, ball one. So I'll control. Yeah, we got to keep it up, King Julian. Especially with the Cubs. The funny thing is, everybody hates the Cubs. Cardinals fans don't like them. But they're helping us out right now. It's, it's just crazy. They're beating the Brewers. <laughs> Strike one. No team CC with tower pitching. was glad to I mean, we've been pitching good. It's just this game that we pitch bad, Travis. Strike two. Swing and a miss. And with this win, if we win today, that'll be six games in a row. And we would take the series. Hey, I mean, at the end of the day... You don't make the schedule. The NLB does, and we're just doing what we can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Travis, why not? I have seen the Cardinals make World Series team with less. <laughs> Especially if Flaherty can come back and be good for us. We definitely need that, I think, though. We need our hitting to be good, too. 3-2. I think anybody who makes the postseason can make the World Series. We saw it last year. The Braves were a wild card team. And they won. 2011, nobody. The Cardinals were not that great of a team. I don't. I think the Dodgers are beatable. They're not even fully healthy. He fouled that away. Dodgers are a poor, poor team in the playoffs. They always screw it up. I do not trust them at all. I think the Mets is more scarier with the Grom and Scherzer. He will ground out. Come on, Arenado. Yes, let's go. They're, they're Rob, I agree. 
During the regular season, they're a great team. They look like the best team. Last year, they had the second best record in baseball after the Giants. And they lost to the Braves in the playoffs. 88, yeah. 88 win Braves team beat them last year. Strike one. Ah, uh, I don't think it's different at all, Rob. I don't trust the Dodgers. They have, to me, they haven't won a World Series with the full season. They haven't done it yet. You can talk about twenty twenty, but that was not a full season. They a lot of their p pitchers are not even healthy. Walker Bueller is out. They have another pitcher who's out. They're just. They're really good, don't get me wrong. I'm not underestimating them, but they can be beaten. That's all I'm saying. Whoa, threw that ball in the dirt. That's a ball. Yeah. The thing is, postseason is different, Rob. They're a terrible postseason team. Terrible. It's just history, man. 3-1. They, they've been to... How, how many World Series have they lost? It's crazy. Oh, he will ground out. Out? Wow, he got him out with that? What a play by Arenado. <laughs> Let's go. That was such a great play right there. Barehanded throw and got him out. Was he really out though? He looked kind of safe. I want to see like a slow motion of the play. I don't trust the Dodgers in the playoffs. It's like I'm try I don't trust the Mets either. They, al they, they always choke. It's like, Rob, think about it like this. It's like the Bills in the playoffs. They always choke. That, that's what, exactly what the Dodgers are, except for that one year in 2020. And that was a shortened year. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I think any team in the postseason can be beaten. Strike one, fouls it away. Did you see that play, John? That was a great play by Arenado. It's kind of miraculous how many times the Dodgers have been to the World Series and lost. What was it, like three, four times and they lost? It's crazy. Oh my god, who is this? Strike two. To me, actually, the scariest team in baseball is the Astros. They may not have the best record, but the their pitchers that they have and their hitters is just... Why you want the Arizona in NL Central, John? That's a ground ball, too. That should be an out. Yes, Paul DeYoung makes the play. Cardinals are done. We're going to the top of the seventh. Gets the out. Oh, yeah, he did get him. Just barely got him out. Okay, wow. That was a great play by Renato. To me, Rob, baseball is the weirdest sport, man. It's like... Last year, if I told you the Braves are going to win the World Series, what would you have said, you know? Yeah, but it's like, like I explained, Rob, it's like the Buffalo Bills going and losing. Remember when Buffalo Bills went to the uh, Super Bowl four years in a row and they kept losing to the Cowboys? Man, that shit was frustrating.
And they lost to the Giants one year, too. Colorado in NL Central would make sense. These games have been... I've never once disagreed with you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're just saying, like, you... Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Like, I get what you mean about the Tigers, Rob, but I feel like, you know, Tigers are rebuilding, so... And unfortunately, Javier Baez didn't work out. I agree with you. I agree that they look really good. I agree with that, Rob. My point is, I don't trust them in the playoffs. That's my whole point. I don't think the Red Sox would get to the ALCS either. Red Sox are not even going to make the playoffs. What? Oh, you mean last year? Yeah, last year. How the hell did they get there? Yeah, last year. I think that's the ALCS. Nobody thought the Astros were going to go there either to the World Series. I thought the Astros were going to beat the Braves, though. So that, that really surprised me when the Braves won. P playoffs is all about, like, momentum, you know, and just clutch moments and all that kind of stuff. Strike one to O'Neal. I picked the Giants and Astros. So you had the Astros, right? The Giants, Giants lost the Dodgers. Strike two. Ball. O'Neal. Oh, O'Neal gets a base hit. Third baseman couldn't make the play. O'Neal's going to second. And he should be safe. Wow. O'Neal starts off with a double. Let's go. What's up, video man? Just uh, enjoying this game a lot, video man. So happy I called it. I almost did not. First pitch to Goldschmidt, fouls it away, strike one. Yeah, Tyler O'Neill, he's good with base running, and he's pretty fast, Rob. He's actually probably our fastest player now that Harrison Bader is gone. Ball, 1-1. One, one. Pitched outside. Davinsky. This girl, this woman has a sign that says, Hey Goldie, it's my 46th birthday. Colchmith <laughs> hits himself in the foot. 1-2. Uh, Like that. 
Oh, damn it. He'll pop up to right field. Went out. I really hope so, video man. She's down bad. <laughs> you know what's funny, Rob? There are more Cardinals fans here than Diamondbacks. Strike one. You can make a case the Cardinals have had the best ever at short and Ozzie Smith defensively. This might be the best ever at third. He's got good company. Scott Rowland is the best that I've ever seen uh, on the field, right? Having played behind me. He makes some highlight real plays. Rowland I know, but this is their stadium. Rob, you expect some to... I don't see, like... I'm not saying I don't see a single one, but I don't see that many. Like, it's crazy. No, in the game. In the stream, I have not seen any Diamondbacks fans. But why would a Diamondbacks fan come here? Tyler O'Neill steals, and he's safe at third, easily. So, O'Neill's at third. So, even if Arenado gets sacked fly, it scored the run. Do you realize, though, King Julian, that Martin has left the chat? Strike. He was saying the Cardinals are going to lose today. Astros take the lead 2-1. to one. Sargento Cheese laughing out loud. Arenado, sack fly. That will score O'Neal very easily. Don't matter how good the throw is, O'Neal should be safe, and he is. 8-4. to four. So Arenado gets a sack fly. There you go. That steal was very important. Cardinals have a four-run lead now. With Pujols coming up again. Strike one. Come on, let's get another home run, Pujols. Just so we can get you closer to 700. Nope, he didn't go. That's a ball. I bet you Carson Kelly is like shit. I, I, man, I could have been on the Cardinals, but they had to trade me for Goldschmidt, huh? Ball. What? They call that a strike. That was a ball. That was a ball. But uh, sometimes... One and two. Two and two. Pitches on the dirt. That was a bad call. Come on, Pujols. Three for three. Can he be four for four? The two -two pitch. Ground, ball. Ground ball. And Pujols gets a single. So let's go. Pujols with another base hit. Four for four. Owning the Diamondbacks today. <laughs> a little single through third. Base hit. Yep. Tommy Edmund coming up. Service pitch track change up up in the zone, and that left side is open, and he finds himself a hole. 
pulls the hands in. Uh huh. And it ties his season high with his second four hit game. The other was at Colorado. Most recent road trip. He owns this team, this property. <laughs> The last time Pujols had a three run, three home run game was at Wrigley Field. That's interesting. So he has drawn four for four. Was his date 98? Swings and misses. Hit a home run in each game of the doubleheader against the Mets. Gave a home run to number 50 and 51. Come on, don't strand Pujols. Really in a way, pass the torch, power hitters. I know, John. This went from a game that we're, we were losing to a game that, like, we're trying to score more on them. <laughs> Swings and misses and strikes out Edmund. Um, we're going to go to the bottom of the seventh. I'm going to take a pee break. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Oof. Two guys on base. What? We have 50 people watching. Hit the like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 3K. Four hits and two home runs. Wow. Palante in a pitch. First pitch, strike one. Getting one of those iPads? 
the way, Albert is hitting 400 since July 6th. <laughs> Pujols is hitting 400 since July. Far show fouls that away. I don't know. Uh, we played them again tomorrow. It'll be Quintana. Swings and misses and strikes him out. So one out. Yeah, Quintana's going tomorrow. King Julian. I know. And guess who beat the Brewers? The Cubs. First pitch to Rivera. Strike one. Just the outside corner. Excuse me. Ken Dog. Kenny! What's up? I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Files it away. Strike two. Yeah, no, I understand. Everybody gets busy, you know? His first home run was in Arizona. Pujols' his first home run. Mike Martini was a player. Strikes him out. Just hits that corner. I hope so, Tito. How many home runs what? Ken Dog. Yeah, Mr. Video Man. Unless something happens. Oh, he's got um, 692. First pitch, ball one. He hit two today, yeah. He's still doing it at 42 years old. And we don't even know if he's really 42. He could be 40 to 44, 45. We don't really know how old Pujols is. Apparently, people say he lied about his age. 2-0 is the count. Nah, it ain't going to be that fast, Coxie. That would be crazy if you guys are 700 end of the week. I think so, Ken. He's throwing a ball. And he walks him. Wow. See a video, man.
Ball one. Calls it away. This is a game of the, the battling back and forth early on. You knew you had to be aggressive. It's like you weren't going to let your go to get to a spot. Cardinals always do so good. Exactly, Coxie. We do so good at the end of the season. And we had a good trade deadline. Not a great one, a good one. Though we got two good pitchers in Montgomery and Quintana. Just wish that we got some hitting with it. Ground ball, Arenado, easy out, and there we go. Pretty good inning for uh, Palance there. Gave up, no, walked one person, and the rest are outs. Top of the eighth. Yeah, but the hitting could have been better, Cox. See, like, I really wanted Soto. But they didn't want to trade their prospects. Huh. Isn't there's going to be 22 votes? No, Coxie, he's not. Come on, kid. Why do you like Kisner? He's so average. Kisner is such a bad hitter, Coxie. Dish is done, and we're at the top of the eighth, Rob. Joe Mantiply. This guy's good. Mantiply. This is a guy I wish we could have traded for. He's got a 188 ERA. I think a hundred dollars was the biggest donation we ever got, Coxie. Nuzdar. Rob, you know Nuzdar. He donated uh I think two hundred dollars to get a mod here before. <laughs> First pitch to the young strike one. <laughs> Yeah, he was dropping money. <laughs> Rob, you can't even hate me for that. $200? Come on. Bro. Strike two. <laughs> Cardinals win World Series this year. I'll donate 400 to your channel. That is a lot. And I don't, I don't think the Cardinals, I mean, I really hope we can. And I always try to believe in my team, but it's going to be really hard, man. 
But it would be great. It would be a great storyline too if the Cardinals won. Just because Pujols could retire, Yachty and Wainwright. <laughs> no hassle, exactly. He is just dropping. I miss those days, Rob. I was getting big paychecks from YouTube. <laughs> Ball outside. Carnal swept the Yankees, yep. Paul the Young flies out to left. My opinion is anyone that is in the playoffs can win it. That's true. I mean, that is true. The good times. The Cardinals swept the Yankees. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. The beginning of Nasdar was so great. It's just the fall of Nasdar that just... It is terrible, Rob. <laughs> I liked when he was doing stupid shit. When he was jumping around and eating nasty cereal. That was funny. But then it got played out because he kept doing the same stuff. Ball one. Yeah, then he went crazy. Did you see that this year? The wild card is best out of... Yeah, I like that. It's best out of three. He's out. If the Cardinals won the World Series this year, though, I feel like people are going to say that, you know, what is going on? Because it would be like too much. It'd be so much of a storyline if the Cardinals won this year. Pujols retiring, Yadi retiring, Wainwright retiring. I hate the, car the Cardinals will have to play an extra series, though. Yeah, that's why you want to be the top two teams. Strike one. But, you know, sometimes it helps out not to be the team with the bye because if you could have momentum, you just keep it going, you know. The teams with the bye, they, they relax in and chill in, and sometimes they just get surprised. Oh, I mean, it's the first time we have a bye, so what's going to be weird. Lars Nupar with another hit. Nupar, three for three. Wow. B.I. is awful. Awesome. Yep. New bar. That was the guy that got the inside the park home run, Rob. Same guy. Killing him. Dylan Carlson coming out to bat. Oh, for four. <laughs> Ball one. Carlson gets a base hit. Newport will go to third at least. Great base running and Newport is at third. Carlson finally gets a hit. So he gets a single. We need O'Neill to pick it up. Two outs and two on. Strike one. O'Neill's looking to go deep, I think. The 
Strike two hits the corner. Buy is good for football or hockey. Well, baseball is now has the football playoff structure. Season high three hits for Newbar, fourth time he's done that in his career. I know in football, if you have a buy, could be good or bad. Because I seen team. Oh my god. O'Neill swings and misses. Strike two. Because I've seen teams that have a bye in football and they just get rusty and they lose. Yeah, for some teams. It's just, I don't know. I mean, if you're a really good team, like let's say the Patriots were back in the day, they were fine with it. But I'm saying other teams strikes them out, O'Neill. So Matt's apply is able to get out of the inning without giving any runs. Well, I don't know, the eight. But yeah, if. And then, especially if you have that buy. The first, because like in football, there's only one buy now. If you have that buy, right, and you have it already, and the last week you don't need to play, so the starters usually don't play that last week. So you're really rusty because you've missed like two weeks of football, and then you're coming into the third week, and it's like, oh, Psst. yeah, Team Beardo, you are you are late, bro. About to come back. Let's just, let's just let's just finish it off. Goldsmith looked at Arenado like, how did you do that play earlier? <laughs> oh, no. Hicks in the game. Oh, God. First pitch from Hicks. Ball one outside. Way outside. It away. He said to both of us today that yeah, sometimes the results, especially in the second inning of the work of Jordan Hicks, have been great. But mentally, in some of the things that we're seeing, it, it, we like it. If things are going in the right direction. He's dialed in. Yeah. We'll see if that happens here tonight. The one-one pitch, and McCarthy fouls it back. You know this, Dan. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. There, there are guys that have. Fouled it away. I do not like Hicks at all, Coxie. I think we're seeing more and more of that with him. I 
He needs to throw sliders more. He throws a lot of fastballs. You see, that's why I don't like Hicks. Home run. 8 to 5. McCarthy slams that one out of here. Thank God nobody was on base, and it's only a solo shot. I called it, Rob. I told you I don't like Hicks. I mean, he threw a slider that hung, like, so bad. No, it wasn't to the pool. You have other pitchers you could have used. Carson Kelly coming up to Carson bat. Kelly. Ball one. Another ball. Now with Hicks having pitched last night, and you bring him back two nights in a row, this is also maybe trying to find out what does he look like back to back. Yeah, why would you you put in Hicks yesterday? That's one of the reasons you do this. How big of a weapon he is, you gotta know you can use him. Three O. Oh my god, don't walk this dude. Walk? Wow. I thought that was a strike, but... <sighs> quickly! Put in somebody! Hicks sucks! He's gonna cost us the game! Wait. Mike. Please just get a double play, please. Strike one. Coxie, he sucks this year. Ball outside. Two balls. Two balls, one strike. Kaiego's warming up. Strike two, fouls that away. Wow, he got a base hit. <laughs> and he's going to get a tr double. What the hell? All right, we definitely take Hicks out. Now it's eight. Wow. Don't blow this game. Guys on second and third. Hicks sucks. How the hell did he hit that, though, in the first place? It was so low. Really? You're going to leave Hicks in? Oh, my God. All 
I can't even watch this game right now. There's nobody out. Ball. It's and a wild pitch. And they'll score in a run. Get Hicks out of the freaking game. Are you serious right now? It's 8 6. Guys, this is why I say, what the hell is this manager doing putting Hicks in the game and leaving him in there after giving up consistent hits and throwing pitches all over the place? Yeah, because Higgs is so bad, Rob. I would have rather started the inning with Stratton. Strike one. That's not surprising at all. No. Swings and misses. And it's like not even the good part of their lineup that's hitting him, Rob. It's like number seventh, eighth batters. And that'll be a ground ball. Well, at least safe. He doesn't even get the out. Get Hicks out. It's eight to seven. What the hell? And he didn't even beat the runner. Are you serious? Hicks is not better than Reyes. He's like walking, Hicks. No lead is ever safe because Hicks sucks and the freaking manager left him in there. Yeah, Palante should have pitched one more inning. He was doing fine. Yeah, he's out now, Cox. He after three runs. I would have took him out after he gave up that first run. I would have took him out definitely after the wild pitch. Like, you cannot have a wild pitch in that. And then he's jogging to first. Yeah, Gallego. I mean, I'd rather see Gallegos than Hicks. Man, I hope we could get out of this inning, and then the next inning we get some more. We get these runs back. It's not Mike Maddox. It's freaking Marmol's fault. I said it from the beginning. I don't like Hicks in the game. I don't like Hicks in the game. Take Hicks out. Take Hicks out. I knew he was going to do this shit. I really hope Gallegos can get a double play. Jordan Hicks should be DFA'd. Socks, dude. Hicks was so bad, he should have took himself out of the game. He should have just went and sat down once he was giving up those runs.
Perdomo is going to bat. No. Yo, Rob, this, he's done this multiple times. He did it against the Rockies, and now he did it against the Diamondbacks. All right, let's see what Gallegos has. Didn't I tell you from the beginning of the inning, Rob, I don't like Higgs. And he just proved me, he proved me right to not like him. All right, first pitch coming to Perdomo. Just checking on the runner. Yeah, Hicks last night was a fluke. And the thing is, he pitched last night. Why would you put in a pitcher that pitched last night? You know? Ball one as he It's not even the bullpen, Martin. It's just Hicks. They could have put in somebody else. I would have been happier. He bunts, and that will... He will get out, at least. So one out, and the tying runner is at second. I just hope we could get out of this inning without tying it. One out. I wonder who they're going to go in with the ninth. Strike one. Falls at a... I mean, misses. Swings and misses. Swings and misses, strike two. The thing is, you shouldn't be blowing games to the Diamondbacks. One two is the count. Throws a ball in the dirt. This is a situation right here with one out. You really need Kisner working behind the plate. Got fortunate on that ball, came up a little bit, but able to corral it. Go with that breaking ball of guy goes, he can bounce, he can get a lot of What do you mean? There's Chris Stratton tomorrow. Man, without Hell Sleep, we really don't have a our bullpen's really terrible. Ground ball. He'll move the runner over to third, but he's out. So you just need one more out. Two outs. <laughs> if Gallegos can get out of this, it'll be great. Yeah, at least protect the lead, like Rob said. And then try the next inning to get some runs back.
I don't know how you got the Buccaneers, but okay, Martin. I never saw the Buccaneers play down to competition. The first pitch to Rivera. Ball one. Need to get Rivera out because Ro Ro Rojas comes up next. You know what's funny, Martin? I only see you when the Cardinals are struggling. When we were doing great, I didn't see you anymore. <laughs> Strike one. Surprising he didn't go at that. 97 miles per an hour. Might be that you're asking Gallegos to get you six. Yeah, I, yeah certainly good. Maybe, and it, maybe it ends up being Gallegos and a lefty. I don't know if you, in this ball game, your first look at Romero is in this one. Because he's not be able to come in against the lefty. Very well. Packy did against Atlanta. Oh, yeah. That was a big road trip for Packy. He had a couple of games in Philly where he saved their bacon also. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two as he follows it away. Just need one more strike, guy. He goes, you can do this. Come on. The big crowd here tonight, 34,240. They're making noise. The tying run at third base. I think you get him with a good slider down the way right here. Once he gets the two strikes, he's in swing mode. What do you mean? Jets versus Buccaneers. Jet Buccaneers won that game. <laughs> Ball, two strikes. Next pitch. Gallegos swings and misses. And whew. Yeah, funny thing is, Rob, 34K... Probably like 30K of those are Cardinals fans. <laughs> Top of the ninth. We'll be right back. Got to use the wrestle. Gallegos had a Gallegos had a great inning there. I mean, he didn't allow any of those runs to score. Yeah, but almost losing doesn't matter. Almost losing, almost losing doesn't matter because at the end of the season, people only care about the wins. Mark Melanson's gonna pitch for the Diamondbacks. Four thirty-two ERA. He's been terrible this year. Yeah, Rob, you couldn't expect better than that. Oh. <sighs> 
He still has to hit eight home runs, and there's not that many games left, is there? I mean, he could do it, but he's got to play more games, too. Come on, Goldschmidt. First pitch, ball one. We need some runs here it's for a cushion. Two balls, no strikes. Oh, they, they might have to team here, though. They might have to put guys. Yeah, that's Goldschmidt with the base hit. Let's go. Come on, man. We, we need to score some runs to get that shit back. Seriously, Rob, like... I don't get it. Like, I know being a manager is hard, but like, that's obvious. You don't put Hicks in back to back days. You don't put in any. I wouldn't put in any bullpen guy back to back unless he's like really good, like a hell sleeper. Arenado, come on! We need a two run shot here. Come on! Come on! <laughs> we need these runs back. First pitch. Oh. Arenado! He crushed it! Is it? No, it's not gone. Damn, I thought it was gone. He was hustling and Pop not taking any chances. So with that, Arenado gets a double, but I thought it was so close to a home run. No, leave Pujols in. Leave Pujols in. He's been killing it. Don't take him out. Freaking guy took Pujols out. Pujols has been amazing today, and you take him out? Why? Yeah. I would have left Pujols in. We got guys on second and third. No outs. How can you take Pujols out of a game with two home runs? He's three for three. He's owning this team. Right-hander, left-hander, doesn't matter. That's why I hate analytics in baseball sometimes. Yeah, Pujols is four for four. Our Gorman is like a strikeout, bro. Infield is drawn in. And Nolan Gorman to face Mark Melanson. Nobody out second and third. Ball one. High. Ali about last night. How tough was it to not pinch it or stay with Albert? He said, definitely. You're on the fence at times of what to do, but some of the numbers... Swear I hate. They need to get rid of analytics in baseball. It is killing the sport, bro. It is really killing the sport. Gorman. Well, at least he gets a base hit. Thank God. So it is nine to seven. At least he got a hit. I can't be too mad on on that, but I wanted to see Pujols. Nine to seven. Cardinals have a two-run cushion. But this is a, a typical Mark Melanson cutter, and he does a good job of eating up left. You don't see that from Gorman. Just a little flare. When have you seen that from Gorman? I don't. Runners are on the corners with zero outs. All right, Tommy Edmond. 
Everybody's hitting Melanson, so come on, Tommy. Ball one. Low. Come on, Edmund. I want more runs. As you can see with our bullpen, I don't feel safe. Two balls, no strikes. That should have been a strike, but... Two of the count. Come on, admin. <laughs> Strike. Swings and miss. I'm pissed too, Julian, but hey, he got the hit. Can't get too mad at that. If he struck out, I would have been so pissed. What is Edmund doing? Come on. He checks on Gorman. Three one. Is he gonna walk, Edmund? And all players have a story too, which is fun. Yes, sure. Let's go. Well, that's it. The guy that was kind of on the scrap heap there for a while, and it's the offense saved the ballpen, King Julian. Major league season. He's been, as you mentioned, an all-star, one of the premier closers in the game. That's what I love about baseball. You just never, ever know. Oh, no, it was an interesting. We need to blow this inning open. Strike two. I thought that was a ball, but it was very close. Well, Dakota wasn't going to get the loss because it was a tight game at that point, King Julian. Nolan Sullivan, welcome to the stream. Pitchers carry out offense every. Three two pitch, runner goes. That's a walk. Base is loaded. All right. Base is loaded, zero outs. Oh my god, imagine Paul the Young hit a grand slam. Over his last 20 coming in. This is after such a hot start. But he's not gonna get the ch chance to face Melanson here. Are they taking Melanson out? They take Melanson out. We saw him last night will come in to face Paul the Young. Oh, thank God we bounced back with this inning because we were dead in the water. Revenge Grand Slam? What is he getting revenge for, <laughs> Nolan?
Hey, don't say that, KO dude. Anything's possible with this car and his bullpen. Exactly, Nolan. Guys, hit the like, hit the subscribe if you have not. We got 52 likes. Smash the like. We got 79 people watching. Appreciate that. Edwin Yusita. Okay, this guy pitched yesterday. I remember him. Oh my god. This guy's going to strike out Paul. Paul DeYoung is not going to do shit against this guy for some reason. No, we go up five wins in the NL Central, not four. No, Hicks can't come back, Nolan. He's taken out of the game. Yeah. Cubs beat the Brewers today. Yep, we'd be five wins if we win today. First pitch ball. Man, if you're a pitcher in this situation, you got to hate, hate it because, you know, any hit you give up is, like, going to be runs. De Young, is it gone? Is it a grand slam? It's a grand slam! Let's go! 13 to I just called baby Paul De Young will hit a grand slam, and he did it. 13 to 7. Now you can see the game is out of reach. Because that will get it right there. Paul DeYoung got his revenge. Grand slam. Holy crap. He hasn't done anything in a while. One swing from Paul DeYoung and it's gone. He hit it deep too. First pitch to Kisner, strike one. <laughs> I should have been more positive. 0 for 20, he broke it. He was 0 for 20? Damn. That's a ball. Yeah, until he strikes out the next game, King Julian. Well. Kisner fouls that away. And we don't have any outs, guys. <laughs> we don't have any outs. Kisner! Alright, that's bad. When Kisner is getting base hits, you know this pitcher is shit. Kisner with a nice base hit. So we got a guy in first. Loop bar coming up. Loop bar is 4 for 4. No, 3 for 3. One was a walk. He has a. A triple, even though it should be an inside the park home run. Three RBIs. What a game. <laughs> what a game. With the Grants. Hey, I mean, I, I, I've been talking shit about Paul Young, but I, he just finally came through. Ball, one to Newpar. No, I'm not. I'm happy to be a Magic fan. Strike one. You're going to see this year, KO dude. Paul Pujols, Pujols put a went yard. Yeah, 
only great pitching performances throughout the year, but ball inside. You mentioned that early on where the Cardinals fell behind. You said, hey, they may go to their bullpen early tonight because you're going to get some runs. It's going to go back and forth if you are 100% correct. Uh, no bar files it away. Ball. Three two full count. I'm all over the map, KO dude. Pause that away. Yeah, we got Paulo. Walks new bar. So now I got a guy on first and second. And I have Carlson coming out. Strike one. Newt. You say Newt even when he gets walked? It's a lonely feeling when you know this is him. I mean, this is him. Yeah, the rest of this inning. You gotta be able to get through it. Eighth man to come to the dish, and nobody out. Another ball. Tyler O'Neill on deck, and a count of one ball and one strike. Set has got that change up, and it's an effective pitch. But he's also got his fastball. I don't think he's able to elevate it enough. That could go into a paint result for Dylan. Dylan Carlson will ground out. Walker will step on the bag. So I got a guy on second and third with one out. Surprising he didn't go for double play. Could have probably got it. Maybe he just won it. I guess you really. This all started with a base hit by Paul Goldschmidt against Melanson to begin the inning. Arenado is fourth double in the last two games. Nolan Gorman pinch hitting for Pools, who is four for four. Of course, Carlson is the. <laughs> Tyler O'Neill coming up to bat. Not at all. Infield drawn in with the Cardinals leading 13 to 7. O'Neill! Wow, what a play! Rojas robbed it, or else that would have been two runs. So two outs. Go cards, Brace fan says, yep. Paul the Goat. He's back today. <laughs> Paul Goldschmidt coming up to bat. Two outs, two hits tonight for Paul. He's got an RBI and a run score. And the first pitch taken high for a ball. Ball one. Wow, they're all shouting, shouting MVP at the stadium. Two balls. You're saying MVP. <laughs> it's funny. Well, we've talked about it throughout this game. There's been 
someone's back in court, obviously with 20 runs scored in the game, there's been a lot of offense. It has been a lot louder on the Cardinal side. Swings and misses, strike one. Last Cardinal with two hits in an inning was Nolan Arenado against Cincinnati. Back in the 2021 campaign. The 2 1 pitch with two runners on. That's the ball. Arenado on deck. Once again, the middle of this lineup. Three, four, and five. Swing at a bat. Swings and misses, strike two. Sitting at 97 runs batted in on the year. With the two out, RBI single to right back in the third to give him 97. He's got 30 home runs. Well, we saw the same setup in that inning. He's looking away now with two strikes. <sighs> right side is still open. The 3 2 pitch. 3 2 pitch to Goldschmidt. He hits it high, deep, and that's out of here. Another home run. Holy shit. The Cardinals have broke this game wide open. It is 16 to 7. Oh, my God. What the hell? Goldsmith did not just do that. He has over 100 RBIs now. Holy crap. It is a football score, 16 to 7. Home runs are flying. This is crazy. This is insane. This is Goldsmith's best year by far. He is We're just killing it. Ball one. To no one. Strike. He's got a hundred RBIs. <laughs> wow. Falls it away. Rob, remember it was 8 7? <laughs> now it's 16 7. <laughs> what the hell happened? We were very worried about losing this game, and now it's like... I said we need a few runs back. I didn't think we were going to do this. <laughs> a three-run home run, a grand slam in one inning. Strikes out Arenado. I don't even think Arenado tried. That was a long but amazing inning. The Young with the Grand Slam and then Goldsmith with the three run home run. 16 to 7. Wow. Do you, do you leave in Gallegos or do you put in another pitcher? I don't know. You could literally leave. Shit, you could put Hicks back in. Let's say. There was he could put Hicks back in the game. He wouldn't mess this up. Where's that guy Martin? Do you see Martin is never here when we're winning, but when we're losing and getting like or they're coming back, Martin is here. Yeah, I thought the Cardinals were gonna blow it too, Julian, or at least like, or 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 the Cardinals would win like eight seven. I did not see this happening. <laughs> Yeah, Paul DeYoung and Paul Goldschmidt, two ball, two Pauls. All the runs scored in the ninth. We, do you guys realize this? We scored eight runs in one inning, and we scored eight runs, the other eight runs, one through eight innings. <laughs> so in that one inning, we scored eight. It's just insane to think about, you know? Eighteen hits, sixteen runs the Cardinals have. And they'll put in Romero? 
Who is this? Jojo Romero. Okay. From the Sosa deal. Roger, really? Let's go, D-backs. Come on. Goldsmith has 31 home runs. Don't let Pujols pitch. <laughs> I want to see Romero pitch. I mean, that's the guy we traded for. Uh, if you guys remember Edmundo Sosa, we traded him for this guy. This is first time he's going to pitch for the Cardinals. Rojas batting. First pitch, strike one. <laughs> Let the young pitch. Nah, it's good for Romero to pitch. He needs to get some reps in. Is that a strike? Nope, 1 1. Hi. Hell yeah, UNC Panther. That's a ball. This guy has no control. No, Jordan Hicks almost blew the game, sports expert. Strike two, swings and misses. Hey, we got Jojo Romero pitching, uh, sports expert. Hicks sucks. He gave, he, Rob saw how much he sucks. Strikes him out. Romero with his first strikeout. He swings and misses. He better be sarcastic. I don't know. So Goldschmidt hit a home run yesterday, and he hit one today. All right, yeah, and now I know he's joking. Christian Walker coming up to bat. First pitch. Strike one. Wow, it's check swing, and he went. Non-human? What? One, two. Yanked out the left field line. 
It's foul. Damn, they didn't hit for Bieber? Come on. Strikes him out. Let's go. Wow, Quato had a game. Good thing I had Quato. He had 37 points for me. McCarthy, first pitch to McCarthy, pops up, fly ball to left field, and the Cardinals will win, 16 to 7, let's go, Romero did great, Romero, is Romero one of our next uh, relief pitchers, wow, the Cardinals are five games ahead of the Brewers, and one game away from sweeping the Diamondbacks, Cardinals take the series so far. And it is, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a great stream, great game, Rob. So many home runs at the end of the game. So fun. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the members. Thank you for all the super chats we got this stream. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a lot of fun and the road to 3k is still there we are so close guys so please if you haven't hit the subscribe we're trying to get to 3k and you know we are not that far away so we can only do it with you guys go cards yes and hopefully cardinals keep winning we got a six game winning streak going on our offense played like the tigers <laughs> yeah so paul de young played great goldschmidt played great Arenado, Pujols. Um, yeah, pretty much the whole team played great today. You know, even Kisner had a couple of hits. Even Kisner had some runs. That's crazy. So. Yeah, man. I, I didn't. And the poll was 90% Cardinals and 9% Diamondbacks, which is obviously correct. Yeah, JoJo had a great inning, JJ. Um, I want to see it more. Like, I want to see. I want to see him pitch more to see if he's going to be that good, or was that just you know whatever? It, Diamondbacks is a bad team. You know that's what you expect. Um, so guys, thank you for joining. Uh, man, this game was three hours and forty six minutes, but it was fun. Please hit the like, subscribe. See you around the bend, everybody. Thank you so much, uh, everybody here, for watching, subscribing, and hitting the like. The win was great, SG. I could not be happier today. Because we almost blew it, and then we had a great ninth inning. Eight runs in the ninth inning. I mean, if you do stuff like that, you're going to win, obviously. Have a good night. Have a great rest of your Saturday. And uh, see you around the bend. Take care, everybody. Have a good, Have a good night.